the leash dance. Okay. Uh, oh. Potty. Yeah, it's about potty time. <laughs> it's about lunch time. Oh. Yeah. What do you think, bud? Yeah, some dogs like to kind of mark and go. He usually just does it all in one yeah, or two he, shots. He, <laughs> he, he'll do it every once. Sometimes he'll mark. It's only a few times. Actually, our female marks all oh. over the place. Oh, yeah. I have one that does that, too. If you'd like to go ahead and offer him a treat for sitting. His name is Blue. Blue? Mm -hmm. Blue. Okay, let's... Sit. Good boy. Very good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, good. Kind of snapped at me the first time I've entered an area map, so it's really good. Oh, yeah? Okay, let's go this way. Let's go. Come on. Let's you know, go. Fiona doesn't keep bugging the neighbors with her barking. Come on. <laughs> I know. It's a good dog, though. I know. See, yeah, we're ready to play already. I know. <laughs> You're going to ready to start to hurt. Let's go. <laughs> you guys are going to be good friends. I kind of wish you were staying a little bit longer. <laughs> How long have you had him? Uh, I think two weeks as well. And he'll have plenty of company coming up. He's got one week pretty much by himself, but then after that he'll have uh, two other boarding mates. Oh, wow. Yeah. That will be good for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure you're used to dog parents that are always uneasy and everything like that. But... <laughs> it, just, it just depends on the pup. I mean, we try for like dogs that are like aggressive, the uh, other ones to schedule accordingly. So they're all just kind of, uh, yeah. I think one is... Dogs, yeah. That's puppy one thing I don't worry about him with the other dogs. That's good. I mean, him with other dogs. I worry about other dogs that, you know, but there's only so much you can do. That's the itchy. That's the itchy. <laughs> Who wants to? Yeah, I think he'll be, he'll be fine. I guess I'll record the rest of his day for, for you as well, so hopefully he'll be good at the dog park and with us out socializing for this session and then meet up with everybody else here the same. And I, I have noticed that when we first started, now that we go on the social walks, mm -hmm. his training is much easier. He's much calmer with other dogs. I found that anyway. I don't know if that's actually true, but I'm <laughs> good very, boy. Oh, good boy. <laughs> I find a lot less correction, mm -hmm. a lot less micromanagement. It's good. Um, <laughs> a lot of times, I think, especially with him, um, it's that he it's easier for him to not focus on negative things yeah. like that's part of the reason why the, a lot of dogs have troubles with people coming towards them it's harder for them to, to break focus off oh. of that whereas with people going away from them it's a lot easier and the danger's almost already passed but <laughs> mm -hmm. and so especially if he's with other pups and stuff to help kind of that, keep his yeah. attention and focus from fixating on negative things it helps mm -hmm. too you look like a, he looks like a mini Juno, doesn't he? Juno says she's, all, this color, she's bigger though. Oh. And she's been the dog that we've been doing a lot of stuff with. And she's, um, she's not as anxious, she's just, has, she's hyper, probably more so. But she looks just like this with a little bit more of a boxer head. Good boy, I know, you're still stuck. Can't go through me. He's going to follow you now too. Perfect. Oh, yes, good job. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I lost my long lead. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, I must have lost it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a pretty boy. Cool. How old is he? He's young still. <laughs> I can't remember exactly how old, but he's pretty young. Uh, I miss her leash chewer. He's like, let me get him. What's he doing? <laughs> He likes playing tug and stuff too. He'll play tug. He likes he's, good he boy. loves a good game of keep away. Nice. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, Blue, will you come say hi? Oh, good boy. Good boy. So you can kind of see he's still, you yeah. know? But at, but at least, least he comes and he meets people. And... A little bit. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he's still working on it too, but you can. At least that's a much more manageable oh, feeling yeah. of like um, hey, being unsure of somebody. Hi. Good like, boy. Yes, that's a good boy. boy. I'm to try to pet you somewhere. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
But sometimes <laughs> I think dog moms, dog dads, I don't know if it makes it easier. I don't know. Sometimes. Like a lot I don't of know if that's anthropomorphic. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm hoping he'll, he'll do well at the, at the dog park with us, because that's where a lot of his socialization came in, Friendship, future people. Because yeah. it's, it's kind of, again, like um, taking the pressure off. Because yeah. he can move away from them if he yeah. wanted to. They're and not I'm sure that's probably him. what will happen. Mm-hmm. I just don't, since I'm not, you know, I don't want to have a bad experience for somebody else's dog. Gotcha. I'll keep him. an eye out for you. And you're a professional, you know. You can see behavior before, <laughs> you know, when to stop. I probably stop it too much. Bye. We'll walk you through everything. Yeah, after you've watched, ha- having to watch like 30, 35 dogs by yourself before. Yeah. <laughs> it gives you plenty of experience. And um, come on, answer, good boy. And what we're gonna do whenever you first get to a dog park, especially with him and his energy, uh, he's gonna be excited. So we want to try to have him. It'll be like the best and worst time to work with him, right? Because that's gonna be one of the hardest times, but it's one of the times that's gonna be the most necessary. Okay. So go ahead and follow me around this way. Yeah. Okay. And we want him to just kind of like redirect to us not continuously pull, you know, perfect. Just wait if we need to. But things like that is good. Like we want him to see, but not pull, you know, not overreact. And as soon as he does, we go ahead and redirect him or ask him to follow us again. Good. Go ahead and take a few steps to your left with me. There you go. So you kind of see what I'm, you see what I mean? Like when you're trying to get his attention, he's like, no. But if like, as soon as you start moving or doing something, it's a lot easier for him to focus on you. Oh, okay. Hi, I know, we're here. You don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's wrapped around me. <laughs> Here, why don't I have you play cam on me? generally just follow wherever you point to us. If you've never worked a gimbal before, it might be a little weird. But it's interesting how it just moves in there. Using using less effort, but um, being kind of aware of what what he's doing, like he's stopping, he's going. Good boy, Oh, here's another pump. This way. When you're taking him to the dog park in the land of the hood. Is he usually this excited? Oh, he's always excited, and I let him right in. So oh, okay. He's not used to the, uh, 
the good gratification. That's where it's just important for him. Just, um, Through the gate, kind of yeah. get to know each other first before you kind of just dive right in. You, that way you can kind of see how they react, you know. He's he's pretty much used to our dog park. He's been there probably fifty times. So. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so. so it's just this was mostly for Enzo over here. This is Enzo's first time. There you go. And what you're looking for is um, just curiosity is always good. Yeah. Um, if they're barking and they're excited, that's okay. But you want to watch for fear yeah. um, and fixation. So if they like start barking and you pull away and they're like 20 yards out and they're still barking, it's usually a, a sign that things wouldn't go well. He's usually pretty fearless when he's in the dog park. So. Oh yeah, he's a good boy. Oh, I know, bud. If you want to try to get his attention and offer him a treat. I usually do that when he starts uh, messing with it. Okay, you stay boy. right there. You stay right there. Good the boy. You're doing so good. I know. Oh, there you go. This way, big guy. Good boy. So you can kind of see now, it didn't take long, but it was really rough at first. Uh -huh. But now, his excitement level has gone down. He's able to follow me. He's able to focus. And he still has all the same excitement here too. Yeah. And this will happen too, like they start running. And this will be a good one. Blue. Come on, Blue. Yes, good. So that's how you'll you'll kind of be able to gauge how well you're gonna do with him in there. Yeah, okay. With like redirecting him and getting his attention. I'll still usually wait with him when um, he's not just running around playing. That's usually the hardest part. But if you can get his attention by getting in between or in front of him, yeah. that's usually the easiest way to do it. Oh, a cute little one. <laughs> Come on, look. So usually by the time I get to the other entrance, they're kind of good to go. I think okay. it would have been fine anyway. And those doing good too. Now, <clears throat> should we change our pattern then for, for when we take into a dog park? Because usually he's just very excited and pulling in. Yeah, because if you just let him go in and kind of let you let him drive you to it, it kind of rewards his pulling. Okay. You know, and his overexcitement. All right. Whereas this, you know, even though it was harder at first, it's better for him because it teaches him to calm down. Okay. Even when he's super excited about something, to focus on mom and dad. And we're gonna get what you want, you know, eventually you just have to follow us. And okay. Be, okay. Be patient, that's all. Not a word he knows. <laughs> it's definitely a hard one for some bucks and some people too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it didn't really take too long, but you can kind of tell, you know. Good boy. Hey, Blue. Wait up. Come here, Blue. Come. Good boy. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Silly. Oh, I know. I know. You'll get it off in a second. We're almost there. Mm -hmm. And then this one's getting a chance to kind of get comfortable sure. with you guys being around. We'll see if uh, you have a treat there. Yeah, hey, Enzo. Sit. You're going to give me a treat, okay? Go ahead and just leave your palm out. See if they'll take a treat from you. Good, Good boy. boy, Enzo. Good boy. Perfect. Good boy. He's good yeah, he's a good guy. He's just here mostly for the social work. Good boy. 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 Good boy.
You guys can go ahead and head in right. and take off all that stuff from them. Yeah. I know, we're coming too, big guy. Good oh boy. You guys stick with me for a little bit. Though. Good boy, Anza. So it says one strap on the side. Yep. There you go, and then just one strap on the on the neck there. There you go. <laughs> there you go, and then you can take that one off. All right. All right. Look at blue. I know, and uh, you guys stick with me for a little bit, bud. Good boy. Of the party over here. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like a big water bowl. <laughs> Good boy, Anzo. Good boy. Come on. Let's go meet everybody else. I can let you off the leash. You can run around. Oh, I know. <laughs> saw in the video but what I'll do when he comes to me is I'll just have him follow me for a little bit sit yeah. and then release him okay. and once he gets good with that and he kind of gets a little bit more tired um, I'll do some recall into the follow into the sit into the release um, and that's really good to practice when he's running around and playing in here yeah so I just have him quickly follow me have him sit stay and then I just let him go play again Come on. 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 <laughs> Very good, there you go. <laughs> good, good recovery. There you go. Good. <laughs> <So cute. laughs> Bless you. Good boy, Angel. Come on, big guy. Come on. Your friend's gonna get it now. Good. Wait. 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 Good boy. Uh -oh. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So cute. <laughs> that way, bud. You're bringing a ball to me, yeah, he, I've got him to bring and drop the bag a couple times, yeah. but it's it's not the most consistent thing with him. I think he really enjoys the keep away and tug games, does, that's yeah. why. <laughs> this one's got the zoomies over here. Enzo! Hey, big guy! Hey! How you doing? That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Come on, let's go. Come on. Good boy. 
Come on, let's go play. Come on. Good boy. You're overwhelmed, aren't they, guys? That's a good boy. <laughs> he's a, I think he's a little overwhelmed. <laughs> hey, you're okay. Good boy. You shy, big guy. You shy. <laughs> <laughs> the little one is the spiciest one. Love it. Oh, look at these two. What do you think, Amza? Huh? Good boy. Huh? Huh? Wait. <laughs> Good boy. Wait. Wait. Good boy. Uh, we don't want to run over anybody. Oh, there you go. They're wrong with running the plane. Can you go play with it? No, you want the freeze. <laughs> He likes the story. But that's another um, good example of kind of just being able to, to use kind of that patience and perseverance to get him to, to release as opposed to trying to tug it away. Because now, now you're like initiating the game of play. Whereas if you just hold and just ask him, he goes around to. If you have your other hand, you can ever pretend like you have a treat or if you had a treat too. That'll work really well. <laughs> oh, there you go. What do you think, Enzo? What do you think? There you go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you can see he kind of wants to join in on the action, but he's not sure if the... He's okay. <laughs> Good boy, Enzo. <laughs> Down. Good. Come with me. Down. Almost. Come with me. Down. Good. Come. Down. <laughs> it's like I know he's going to jump. Wait. Come. Wait. Good. Okay. Wait. So it's another good way that you can kind of practice that impulse control when you're yeah. super excited. Because it really gets you fine tuned on what you kind of think about it. He's going to think about that stuff. Come on, that's really good. Then a lot of it is just like excitement based. Uh, 
exciting sometimes when he'll get too excited. Um, <laughs> and then I just ask him to stop fighting me and then he just does. <laughs> so. And that is the random kind of thing. Oh, no. <laughs> He's much better at just giving Paul about that now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Haven't had to use the bark collar or anything. He's been really good. I think a lot of it is just the fact that he gets so much stimulus. Yeah, yeah. And that's the problem with him. Yeah. And then he's a problem during the recuperation period, too. We're, we're yeah. We're both trying to work for <laughs> when he has eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Those eight weeks were tough. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so what we'll do is I'll trade you again. You okay. can play cameraman. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'll walk him down here, the first quiet one, and then we'll um, we'll switch off. Sounds good. Boy. And the main goal here again is um, to keep the leaves nice and loose. Okay. And if, like, once we get to more busier parts of uh, downtown and we won't be able to have enough slack, you'll kind of see I'll, I'll hold it closer, but I'll still try my best to keep it loose. Okay. And we'll start to kind of go into like micro weight. Good uh, having to get into a cross box and just practice. Mm -hmm. And just want to make sure he's actually waiting by himself. He's super distracting. Good boy. All right, let's go. And this is a good sign of not to go over the Most of the time, they'll try to bolt across the street. It's not always generally the best time to ask him to kind of. Wait or slow down. Boy, this one. Good boy. Very good. And so the same theory still apply. I just want to use the leash as a boundary. Um, and then just get him back either through his own attention and focus or by calling him or by moving in another direction. Walking him, have you ever seen him? Good boy. Usually close to the house, go crazy, and grab the leash in his mouth and start pulling his mic with you? Mm -hmm. And then what do you do? I just ask him to leave it. I just don't <laughs> play with him. Um, if you, you really need any kind of uh, interest, I kind of do the same thing as we do with dropping. Yeah. You just offer him a treat instead for him to disengage and just okay. kind of wait there. The main thing is for you to become less exciting and less engaging. Yeah. And just kind of wait it out because the more that you kind of give into it, the more it kind of feeds it. Yep. Yep. Gets what he wants. He likes the rest. The good thing too about this system is that um, he hasn't really tried to find it. I think either because of where it's located. Uh -huh. um, or why not? But I haven't had that much of a problem with it. Only with, you know. Sorry, <laughs> you mind? Uh -huh. oh, oh, I have the thing in there. This Thank you. There you go. <laughs> this is <amazing. laughs> Hopefully there'll be one around here somewhere. Oh, look at that pack. <laughs> Come on, guys, this way. <laughs> Good Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Back there, not as
Go on, Anton. Good boy, baby. Oh, I know you want to dance. <laughs> How are you doing with him so far? Good, good. Yeah, so you kind of see what I mean by trying to hold these clothes to the TV. And now that we have space again, you can go ahead and give them some okay. but like just kind of have a, a boundary set in your mind of where you can go. Like if they want to go up the stairs, that's where I stop for the next thing like that. Um, another good habit to get into, especially when you're practicing with them, is to not worry about where you're going or how far you're going to go, but just the, the overall walk and the behavior in general. Okay, so if you like wanted to go towards the tree or if you wanted to stay here for a minute, just let them kind of stay. Because uh -huh. we really want to get them used to absorbing the immediate environment around us. The boy, you're not feeling like he has to move on quickly to the next spot. Okay, so don't rush him, huh? Yeah. Because we pretty much want to just slow the whole walk down as much as possible. Like, that's good. Very good. Good. And you'll see he did that a bit last night. I don't know if you had a chance to see his video. No. That'll be, that'll be fun to watch, and then he'll have his next one. A lot of it is just kind of just mostly concentrating on on the behavior and really kind of trying to take the time. And for whatever reason you start to get too far and you decide it, then you just ask him to wait and then hold the leash until he complies. And then when he does comply, you can either redirect him back to you, have him sit for a treat, or start going again. Okay. So you'll always kind of have options on, on what you want to do. But their main, their main goal that you always want to keep in the back of your head is to keep the leash as loose as possible. So that way when you do need it, you have it available uh -huh. and he's not getting into that bad habit of just uh, putting pressure yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this will be a good opportunity to do another sit and wait. Okay. Oh, perfect. We're so If you want, after I drop this off, I'll take the camera back to okay. that. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can walk down. Very good. Is that the grass? Yep. Good boy, dude. Very good. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and I'll trade. So that way I'll take this and dad can take him. All right, so let's go left here, and you're going to see the market square that we kind of practiced, and I'll show you the little exercise that I did there. Oh. Ah, there we go. Okay. Good, so just use it as a, as a barrier. There you go, good. Or as a, yeah. There you go, just keep on walking so you can't keep going up. Perfect, just like that. Good. There you go. Perfect. There you go. So with practice, you'll realize how much better you'll get at just manipulating the length of the leash. So that way he can't get into traffic. He can't get up the stairs. He'll hit those. Like, there you go. Like, he'll hit that and then just, like, let him kind of, there you go. Let him give up on his own. Perfect. There you go. Good. Very good. So you'll see kind of, I said, a lot of the effort of the walk should be taken off of your shoulders and put on his but you kind of have to let him get used to doing that you know okay and that will take a right down these stairs and if you want i'll show you another good exercise that we can do here too okay i'll trade you again okay hopefully i can do it with them so too Oh, it's okay. Let's give it a shot. Good boy. So it's just kind of like the stop and go. Just wait. Good. Okay. Down. Wait. Good. Down. Wait. Wait. Again, teaching patience, huh? 
It's a good idea to practice like that. He doesn't like get excited and pull you down the stairs. Yeah. There okay, you go, Dad. Okay. Ready? Okay. Thank you. Good boy, Blue. And I'll show you with Enzo, but you pretty much want to use these squares here and walk and make 90 degree turns okay. and just have the leash do the work for you. And you can kind of control how long or how short the leash is. But the main thing is for him to realize he's going the wrong way again and for him to turn his attention and to follow you. Okay. Yeah. So I'll show you with Enzo and then you guys can take a turn. This way, Enzo. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. Very good. Actually, let me to switch modes here. Come here, bud. There we go. Okay.
What's up? Did you grow up here in Fredericksburg? Oh no, I grew up in, or in uh, Hearn and Chantilly, oh, okay, Fairfax okay. area. We moved here about three or four years ago. Uh -huh. It's nice. Mm -hmm. You guys are from Tyson, you said? Yeah, right around Tyson. That's a really nice place. Yeah. <laughs> I worked at the um, the Coastal Flats there at oh, the Tyson's okay. Mall for yeah, a couple yeah, years. Yeah. Cool. That was good money. Yeah. Very busy, but good money. Yeah. It's a nice restaurant that if you guys have never been. Okay, I have been, and it was oh. the first restaurant I went to. I don't think they do this any time. I've been there two or three times. But it was the first time I went where, I was at season 52. It was one of those there. Oh. Where they looked at what I was dressed in and then gave me either a black or a white mask. Oh gosh. I, I, never... I kind of wonder what that means. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> that's very, uh, <laughs> that's very thoughtful of you. Wait a minute, I can't remember. We always went to a, a bar, so if it was like a bar area, then maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that was probably it. Good. There you go. Yeah, that area was changed. Good boy. We remember, like, uh, as I was leaving, uh, there was a very expensive new clothing store that opened up nearby, and the jeans were like. $200. Oh, really? That's too much for me. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know if we could afford that. <laughs> I usually shop at the Goodwill or Amazon at this point. It's huh? a good one. The dog's car picking is right behind Tyson Paul. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh. Well, I'm glad he probably gets to go and have a lot of friends and stuff. Good, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, like when it was rainy the past couple of days. Yeah. Well, I was lucky he had a friend at home. Yeah. But that'll also go away usually with age, too. So you try to... As, as difficult as it can be at times, you try to enjoy it while it lasts because then you get old ladies like me, you know? Okay. <laughs> They're just literally okay with laying around all day, all the time. I was surprised he got uh, Fiona to play with him. I thought that was really nice. So we're going to go this way. And now we can practice the weight part. Good. <laughs> oh, he sees the other little pup. Good boy. Very good. And it's practice out like this that really helps to solidify those behaviors just because there's so many distractions. Yeah. All right, now we're going to go. Good boy. Come on, big guy. Oh, yeah, you have to be very careful downtown. People will still turn even if you have the right of way, so you got to be mindful of that. Almost lost the dog one time. Oh, you want some water, bud? That's fine. Oh, no. I wish I had some more with me. Oh, I'll get him some. I'll stop by the gas station. I got a bowl in my car. I don't know if he actually drank at the at the dog park. Come to think about it, I saw him drinking out of the water bowl or the, the pool. I think he threw up his dinner once. Uh -huh. I figured it was probably because he started playing too much afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that was pretty much it. Yeah, he did that once and then he had one pee pee accident. Oh, and I think, did? yeah, I think it was just because he was playing and playing and playing and drinking and drinking and drinking uh -huh. and playing and playing and then he just stopped playing and he started peeing. Uh -huh. So after that, I, I gave him some more breaks while he was yeah. playing yeah. and drinking yeah. a lot. And it was fine. He's been good since. Huh? He's been good since. He's been good since. Oh yeah, those are the only incidents. He's been really good. But then I ain't gonna eat. I don't really give the pups too much of a chance to <laughs> go inside. But most of the time, 
He uh, is really good with just going in the bathroom right in the mornings when we all go out, lunchtime, and then at night. I usually go out twice at night. So between that and like his sessions, he doesn't really <laughs> get too much opportunity. <laughs> yeah, bud. Oh, I know. We'll give you a break from that too. Come on, bud. Good boy. We just started making that Good boy. Good boy. Okay, and then another opportunity to sit. Wait. Good, and then you can release whatever. Perfect. Oh, you can keep going straight or we can go. It's on the same block. We just have to go left eventually. <laughs> Good boy. We appreciate all your flexibility. I felt bad. Oh, I'm just glad you guys got it better and it didn't go south. <laughs> oh. Life is very boring. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad we got to still get him, get him in there, and he still got to, he got to rotate through three, uh, three boarding mates. So that was fun. He, he got to socialize a little bit. There you go. <laughs> He's like, what's that? Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Yeah, I'm hoping once the, the other hardest comes in, give that a shot, see if I can figure out anything else. But I want to just try to get it down to just a simple one leaf system for you like yeah. this. I think this, because the other person that suggested the front had, a, had the right idea. But I think because one didn't fit properly, um, and also because it was always right near his mouth, yeah. I think that was part of the reason why she kind of got into that other bad habit of yeah. trying to bite at it all the yeah. time. Since this one's more further back, he doesn't really get that opportunity. So they had they had the right idea to kind of give him something to discourage the pulling. Yeah. Um, but just because it, it didn't fit properly at where it was, hopefully with this minor adjustment it's the same idea uh -huh. um it should help work out with him but he, he doesn't need it too often which is good it's only those times like when he's super excited yeah, and needs yeah. something yeah. and that's always why they said 90 percent of the work should be you know the basics and then you have the tools and stuff so you don't really use the tool as much as you really think you would yeah. but it's there to help out right. Right. Oh boy And then we just take a left here, or you can go through the park if you wanted. <laughs> good, there you go. Okay, there you go, good. And I was telling him while you were walking, that's kind of what we're looking for, is like, as soon as he gets to that end of the line and he feels that pressure and he redirects himself, that's perfect every time. You see here. <laughs> you want some ice cream too, bud? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Come on, good boy. <laughs> good, there you go. Very good, there you go. Good boy. That's the main thing. As soon as he redirects, it looks back to you. 
So that's going to be your opportunity to either try to hold it or have them come all the way. This way, Enzo. Good boy. And then tomorrow when you come by, uh, just text me whatever is good for you. Okay. We'll go over more of the finer details of like okay. the heel work. And then we'll, we'll try again for the placement and the drop. <laughs> Hopefully it'll go better tomorrow. All right. So I'll just use you at the test mark that you have to, uh, have to come with something else. Uh, go ahead and, um, go ahead and meet me back this. at the court again. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So that way we can kind of go over everything in a, All right. in a more open environment. Okay. Bye, boo. And then we can test them out at the pet's part or something. All right. Be the boy. One more night. We'll pick you up. Okay. Uh, say bye to mama. Bye, Enzo. Say bye, Enzo. Good boy, Enzo. You're, good boy. Good You're boy. awful pretty. He warms up to people quickly. Yeah. That initial time.